Hey guys and welcome. Let's take a look at what it took to get this out. I've already done it and since it was pretty difficult I've watched several videos on this and nobody seemed to do this thing the right way. What they do is typically they'll just use this tool and they'll grab on it right here and pull. There was no possible way you could have pulled your arm off trying to get this one out uh, doing that and when it did come out what's holding mine in place was all the rubber had gone decrepit it's basically this little part right here of the valve okay that may be coming apart if you notice there's two sides to this thing and both sides of mine were just totally gone wasted and stuck in there so what I had to do to get it out, and this is the way you normally would use this tool, is you insert this tool on the, the end by screwing the, the Phillips screw right there in. Okay, you put that on there. And then what you do is after this is in, okay, place here, you have this all tightened up. Then what you do is you take this thing here and you tighten this or you go yeah clockwise like this okay until it reaches this surface right here so on both sides you can see these two surfaces and then what it does is that this thing as you use a wrench on this and hold this still what happens is this will start it will catch on that edge right there and it'll start pulling the inside out so after you put this thing on there, screw this down and tighten it up. Now what happens is it reaches these two plastic tabs, which eventually will break off. So what I did is it still wouldn't come loose. It was, I had broken it. I'd gotten as far as I could with this thing out as far as I could. Okay. Then what I did is I used a pry bar. Okay and put it between this surface here and that surface there. And I loosened this up and then tightened it and then pried a little bit and it pried a little bit until it came out. Now, you couldn't get it all the way out by doing that, all right? So once I got it out far enough where this O-ring right here was exposed, then I grabbed the outside of it with a pair of channel locks these are good ones by the way these are Irwin really nice um, better than your regular channel lock you gotta have a decent pair guys if you have a junk Harbor Freight thing it probably won't work so then what I did is I got it grabbed onto the outside of this thing and started twisting it back and forth while I pulled on the t-handle uh, after 10 minutes of yanking it literally took me about 30 minutes to get this valve out so if yours comes out easy good for you um, there's a lot of people that are having trouble with these. Um, I would suggest, I'll put links in the description. This T-handle is very, very cheap. Uh, there are two different styles from what I can tell of these for the Moen valve. There's a long one like this and a short one. And when you buy the long, when you buy it, I think this one's the 222 or something like that. One, two, 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 I'll look it up and I'll put links in the description. Uh, if you're gonna do this job, what I would do is pull the handle off, okay? Expose what the end of yours looks like. If it looks like this one with a long end on it, then you probably have the same one. Apparently there's, you know, this is a universal valve, fits most of them. So, uh, I would buy this and the tool on Amazon. They're kind of expensive now at Home Depot. And then, you know, with Amazon, you can always return it. So another thing that I would do is I have a piece of emery cloth. This is emery cloth 600. And what I'm going to do is just kind of just clean it with this, okay? I'm not going to do any real sanding or take anything off because there's some hard water in here that I can feel. And I don't want that to ruin my O-ring. Plus I bird this a little bit. I want to kind of knock those down a little bit. 
clean that up before I put the, it's like a Vaseline type of a stuff. They give you a little tube of it, comes with your thing. Before you put it back together, then I would do this. So again, I have to make these videos at least three minutes long. It has to be like three to five minutes. If I don't make them that, you'll never find the video. So unfortunately, I've got to do a little extra talking, guys. So sorry about that. Um, because YouTube has criteria that they want the video to reach. If, if it doesn't reach that criteria, they don't suggest it. And so anyway, you won't find it on the feed anywhere. It's just super hard to find. So anyway, I'm going to clean this out. Then I'm going to take a rag and I'll put a rag in here and make sure this surface is nice and clean. Then I'll go ahead and slide my new one in. It just slides in. If you watch the other videos, I believe um, they have a hot and cold identifier on the top. There's also instructions in here. I would highly suggest you read them. But that's it. If you're having trouble, get your valve out. That'll probably help you. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.